Okay, so that's Faisal. All right. So Faisal, that's the very first session. Can you change your name to uh, your uh, name, please? That would be uh, some. Or a last time also, I did tell you how do you change your name. Okay. By just going into preferences, Faisal, you can do that. So go on to preferences and then into general settings, you'll get to see the settings where you can change your name, uh, Faisal. All right, great. So we have Faisal from New Delhi, we have uh, Kaushal from Bangalore, and then we have Kumar Swami. Yeah, Faisal, so we perfectly fine. Thank you so much. So hi, Kumar, uh, good evening. Hi, Santosh, uh, Kaushal, Faisal. So guys, let's get started. Uh, I just wanted to understand from you as well, Kumar, what background are you from? We have just done the introduction part. I know most of you. So Faisal is from Delhi. He's, uh, he's a mathematician and also a Guinness Book World Record holder. And he teaches a lot of uh, students. I hope that's the introduction, right? And then we have Kaushal. Kaushal is from Bangalore. And he is into lead generation campaign management. That's the introduction which I have been given. Uh, so that's what Kaushal has said. All right. And then we have Kumar Swami. Uh, Kumar, if you can also let us know about your. So Kumar says, I'm working as operation training QC. All right. That's great. And what part of India are you from, Kumar? And what is your understanding in terms of digital marketing? Just let us know about these two questions as well. So this is our first session, guys. And with respect to Santosh, just help me recall. You're from Belgaon. That's what you said. And uh, what profession are you in? Uh, so you've done MBA marketing. I All right. And you're presently working uh, into okay kumar swami you're also from bangalore that's great so we have a good attendance from bangalore we're going to, we are expecting one more individual uh, from bangalore so you're working as marketing communication executive that's great uh, so that's what the santosh introduction is guys and kumar swami says he's working as operation training qc all right, and then we have Nitin also joining in. Nitin is from uh, Ludhiana. Hi, Nitin. Good evening. Uh, today it's a first session of a new batch, Nitin. So uh, we we were just doing the introduction part, and help me just recall. So you are into the uh, online marketing industry, and you're from Ludhiana, Punjab, right? All right. So Kaushal. Uh, He's saying, Shastriya Kaal Nitin. All right, great stuff, guys. So just to give you a brief, it's 8.35. Let's get started. This is the very first session of uh, Digital Marketing Pachala's uh, online training, where we have training uh, you know, of this particular course, Digital Marketing course, which runs for three months, where we have session every week, guys. And uh, since this is the first session, we are going to start with Google AdWords. Uh, I hope most of you are aware of our, about uh, Google AdWords, guys. What exactly we mean by that? I'll just open the course curriculum. You can, I can also give you the link where you can download the course curriculum from. We had a brief introduction in terms of what internet marketing is all about. Uh, why internet? You know, why do we use internet? And how the internet marketing thing has evolved? So we, we had a demo session this Sunday. Uh, which was just for an hours, uh, for an hour duration, and after that we uh, have got a follow-up session, which is uh, the very first session in terms of digital marketing. I'll just share across the course content, guys. So keep asking me your questions in terms of whatever uh, queries you uh, you know you have. It's very important for me to, you know, uh, 
make things clear to you as in uh, when you have a doubt in your mind all right guys so this is the course curriculum i i'll just share across the link with you how can you go ahead and download it so if you are aware about the website which is dmpartshala.com on the home page when you go this is the course where we are trying to learn the overall digital marketing stuff guys uh digital marketing course it's on the home page once you click that you'll get in the inner page which is the specific course page over here you can see download course curriculum button being there go ahead and click that i'll just repeat i hope most of you have got the access to this page so what you can do you can download the course curriculum by going on to this page and in 5 minutes uh, i can brief you what exactly we teach in this entire course there are different modules which are being covered in the entire course guys to name few these are digital marketing overview then you have website planning and creation then you have search engine optimization so with the very first one guys these are the couple of ones which we are going to take today after that we'll start with ppc advertising also so what exactly digital marketing is then how do we go about creating websites how do we manage them and what are the different kind of websites then there once we talk about all that stuff within digital marketing there are couple of major important uh, topics where we would be spending more time which is search engine optimization and ppc advertising which is also called google advertising so we will uh, you know uh, lay a lot of emphasis on the google search ads and the banner ads in case you are aware of that it's good in case and in case you have certain doubts you are, you are not aware of it feel free to ask me guys then we'll also talk about another product uh, in this overall course which, which is by google and that's called google analytics this particular product guys talks about uh, you know helps us as a digital marketer to understand how much traffic are we receiving on our website from what all locations and uh, how much time are they spending on my website so a lot of insights onto my website then we'll also cover social media marketing where we'll study uh, how can one uh, as a marketer leverage the uh, power of a social media channels some of the social media channels which are renowned one uh, can you help me in, uh, name one of uh, some of the uh, famous social media channels guys facebook absolutely right uh, fazel anybody else twitter that's right linkedin true any other uh, all right yeah linkedin absolutely right nitin anybody else who can name me so kaushal kumar santosh shashank i hope google absolutely so we have google plus also so these are some of the social media websites where we can leverage these websites in terms of uh, going ahead and doing a lot of practical stuff absolutely so linkedin partially social media linkedin is a social media but it's a serious social media channel kaushal uh, where all the professionals go ahead create their online profile their personal their profession not personal i mean professional profile and then they also interact absolutely it's a professional that's right all right and then after that we will be covering the email marketing and lead generation for business so these are uh, all the modules and when we say digital marketing if you talk about these uh, you know search engine the third fourth fifth sixth and the seventh one these are very important in terms of uh, learning digital marketing in overall sense guys so i have the entire course module which i uh, i mean it's all present it's present right in front of me in case you want to download that across guys i'm still sharing the link you can go ahead uh, just fill up the form and then you will get the course details you will get the course uh, curriculum all right so today i'm going to begin with website so it's going to be a uh, very light session today uh, when i say uh, a very light i mean to say not much of technical stuff we are going to start with we'll first of all start with what exactly we mean by digital marketing webs and webs how do we go about creating a website 
it's very uh, okay now another question i'll keep it as interactive as i can i would always recommend and request each one of you to participate as much as you can on the chat window it's a public chat window guys all of you can connect with each other uh, i hope most of you have uh, known each other with the help of introduction i have done we have uh, dhruv also joining in dhruv is a new uh, member and we have shashank also joining in so a couple of new joinees and just let me uh, uh, help you to understand dhruv is from i believe ahmedabad right dhruv uh, that's what you have spoken to me and he is uh, into digital marketing profession already I, am i right dhruv and then we have shashank who's from hyderabad i believe and shashank is into the web uh, web development industry am i right shashank yeah yes say shashank and yes says dhruv all right guys so guys feel free to uh, network across with each other i really recommend networking as well i'm going to start with digital marketing overview website planning and creation for today's session we'll uh, uh, you know have this session at least till 10:30 so you are not audible say spezel is that for everybody am i am i uh, audible for each and every one loud and clear yes say santosh all right okay fazil has left and then he log in again so he has logged out and log in all right no problem absolutely dhruv yeah this is a first session all right uh, of a new batch dhruv all right so let's begin i'll keep on sharing the notes also the powerpoint presentations which i'm going to share in this entire course guys once we are done with the uh, class with the session so okay just give me a moment i'll all right guys so let's begin with digital marketing i want to understand from you how what exactly you mean by digital marketing what is your understanding about digital marketing guys so if you can help me know in your in a one liner what is all i right. online presence says uh, nitin kaushal what's your understanding uh, kumar swami santosh when we say digital marketing what exactly is your understanding so marketing through the digital media and when we say digital media what exactly we mean by that also so marketing fazil says marketing using various digital devices all right uh through laptop mobile all right ipad okay so these all devices smartphones and all that stuff definitely they are uh, something which we are very used to in today's scenario in today's generation but we are using it uh, quite often whenever we have an internet connectivity so when we have the internet connectivity we are using a lot of digital media stuff on the internet and when i say this digital media uh, i i mean things like websites or blogs or social media websites these are all digital media and we use these digital media for marketing purpose why why would a marketer actually use these websites what is the reason behind these uh, digital media being used across by marketers there are plenty of other platforms which marketers use just like television uh, you know whenever there there are television ads fazil says it they are cheap all right i would say uh, to get the correct information all right absolutely right right fazil right kaushal santosh says specific absolutely right and what would be the other reason a hey, hi guru prasanth welcome so we just started uh, you haven't missed much so what is the other reason why uh, a marketer would actually use these digital media stuff like websites blogs social media then you have forums then you have many other things uh, on the internet world on the internet what other things do you do guys do you watch movies do you watch videos do you uh, listen to songs i mean at all these platforms we as okay let's not consider ourselves as marketers first let's try to understand how do we as layman language use internet 
we as in layman language layman uh, man sorry uh, we as layman man would use internet for several purposes if i am a student i might use it for creating for you know gathering knowledge to create my project if i am a professional working in an organization i would definitely i might use it to gather information to create my uh, again a presentation or my you know a client's presentation or something or if i am a you know a kid i might use it to play games to watch movies if i am uh, you know if there's someone who's a housewife maybe she might use it for watching how to uh, you know uh, create certain uh, cooking stuff for you know uh, uh, watching the recipes and all that so guru prasad says we a marketer use it to get leads to get traffic absolutely right kaushal says we can do anything under one umbrella with the help of digital marketer absolutely right nitin says technology now getting easier to access in terms of online absolutely it is easier so as layman guys i hope you all have understood how different people use internet when they these people use internet their consumption pattern of overall media is getting changed when i say overall media there are other things like television radio newspapers magazines they all come as fall under the uh, preview of a media our media consumption has changed with the advent of uh, internet or with the upcoming of internet major focus major consumption of internet has increased and there has been a decrease in consumption of television there has been a decrease in consumption of magazines radio and this is a fact which has been seen across people are not uh, watching tv as uh, at the same frequency which they were doing it earlier on after the coming of internet all these uh, all the other media channels have uh, gone down f- f- from uh, you know in most most of the cities in most of the nations so mohammed faisal says india has second large number population after china so large audience in india is using internet absolutely the internet penetration has uh, is going way beyond and i hope most of you are aware what narendra modi is going to get uh, in near future with with this initiative of digital india i hope most of you have heard of digital india initiative by mr narendra modi where they are uh, trying to get as much uh, internet coverage in every nook and corner of the uh, uh, country right all right so kumar swami says nowadays customers are using internet more then other channels absolutely right right thanks koshal thanks swami thanks santosh thanks yashank right so because of all these the internet usage has become uh, quite a lot and for online for for purchasing purposes also for making decision of what sort of stuff should i buy for myself whether i am a student or i am a housewife i am a working women or a working men or uh, you know uh, a bachelor or a married man or a married women whosoever it is they are buying something or the other and their buying decisions these days are based upon all the con- you know uh, media consumption the content consumption they are doing and this consumption the content consumption is happening a lot on internet so internet is a best medium to get in touch with them that's why digital marketing plays a bigger role in that so that's the overall uh, you know introduction guys i can say uh, or may- maybe i can uh, name it as some of the importance Uh, of digital marketing these days with the internet usage being there marketers are using digital marketing uh, practices quite a lot another best way to uh, you know reshape the entire stuff which i have said that right now the benefit of digital marketing over traditional marketing what would be that it's like uh, the very first thing guys it's measurable if i am spending 100 rupees on digital marketing i can get to know what sort of investment uh, of, of my investment what sort of return am i getting am i getting 120 rupees back or i am getting 180 rupees back but if you will talk about traditional media like spending money on radio ads or television ads or newspaper ads it's very difficult to understand how much money uh, how much return am i getting so measurably my measurable part is one of the most important factor because of which every marketer every big brand is diverting their marketing budget from traditional media to the uh, digital media i hope you uh, have seen that uh, there is a lot of money which is getting invested by a huge number of people and with the upcoming of these bigger websites whether it's amazon or ebay who are not indian 
uh, organizations, you know, uh, they are coming all together into e-commerce space and that too into the in, uh, Indian audience, Indian uh, geographic location as well. All right. So what exactly we mean by digital marketing, guys, it's a process of building and maintaining customer relationships through online activities, which is absolutely there to facilitate the exchange of ideas, products, services, and satisfy the goals of both the parties. So I, with the overall uh, interaction I've just done right now with you, I know I'm at the speaking mode and you guys are at the chat mode but still uh, the interaction level will definitely be there the the digital marketing is all about uh, you know marketers trying to make their products and services come in front of those people who are their potential audience giving you an example if i am uh, let's say dell laptop you know i am from dell and i am the marketing manager of uh, dell brand with the help of digital marketing, uh, when I do a dig do digital marketing for my brand, I am trying to make my brand come in front of those people who would definitely like to buy my stuff. Whether these are professionals or housewives or students who would always like to buy Dell laptops or Dell desktops. I'm just if I talk about just those pr products, so digital marketing helps in getting across those products and services in front of the potential customers and then doing a dialogue between them when i say dialogue between uh, the brand and the end customer that happens with the help of the websites now we when we have a brand or a product we always need a website i hope more, most of you agree to that the pop-ups all right yeah absolutely so they are part of uh, websites right kaushal when we have a website they act as a shop for us so if i take a uh, online offline world if I have a product, if I have laptops to sell across, then where, where am I going to sell these laptops? I do need a place. I do need a shop. Within the shop, I need the electricity connection. I need uh, salesmen to be there. I need the products to be displayed. I need the cashier to be present who can take the cash, build the uh, customer. And I need, uh, you know, what not the overall admin stuff. Similarly, if I need a shop in the offline world, I need a shop in the online world also, which uh, and I shop can be an e-commerce platform or a website. In other words, a website which has a transaction with, you know, a transaction can be made as an e-commerce site. So similarly for digital marketing, you always need a platform like a website where you can connect with your uh, potential audience and these potential audience can be can be roaming around on several places. Now, tell me one thing, guys, if I'm taking the same example of Dell and I am the marketing manager. Now, you guys also become the marketing manager of Dell. You guys are part of my team, let's say. And we are sitting in a, uh, what do you say, conference room and trying to brainstorm how do we uh, get in front of our audience, which is one of the audience, which is students. Okay. So I want to target all those students who are there. Uh, I mean, who would actually buy my product? My product is, uh, you know, starts from 25,000 rupees and goes up to 80,000 rupees or 90,000 rupees. That's my price range for uh, one of my Dell Inspiron laptop, let's say. Now, my question to you as uh, who all are part of my team, my question to each one of you is on what sort of uh, websites will this potential audience of ours, which is the student community, do you think would be uh, most active on? So Shashank says tech. All right. So tech websites, you, uh, is that what you mean? Guru Prasad says social media. Santosh says college website. Shashank says tech websites. Absolutely right. Guru Prasad, absolutely right. Shashank, uh, Santosh, you absolutely right. Guru Prasad says like Facebook, absolutely right. Bezel says social media. Nitin says social media, absolutely. So this is something which we already know that what uh, you know this particular audience uh, sort of consume. We can definitely do an analysis or sort of a primary research also by asking, let's say, 15, 20 uh, different students and doing a you know sort of a short survey by asking them what is their what are their lifestyle pattern and how how for how long do they actually stay on the internet? Is it five hours, four hours? And if it's four hours a day on an average, what sort of websites? They'll definitely have all these websites, which I know. I mean, we uh, 
the answers which we have given is uh, through our observations right and our observations definitely are right but we need to really validate that also once we validate then all of us you know uh, which is uh, you and uh, you guys and me we, we all being the team members of the dell marketing department would list down all those uh, categories then after that we will list down which all websites should we focus on should we focus on facebook should we focus on uh, the college websites if it's a college website which all college websites should we focus on is it the uh, search engines where they would be typing a lot of stuff and then spending a lot of time over there or is it the games website the tech uh, you know the technology stuff or maybe some uh, whatever kind of websites we can think of right so if somebody if any particular student who's trying to look for a laptop guys would also use a search engine to gather information about that maybe they might this is my assumption also guys so uh, best laptop for a student that this is something maybe uh, you know uh, one of my potential audience might type it and guess can you see dell so this is a, one of the example i gave you out of the blue and that's what happened when i said best laptop for student dell's you know google ad is actually present right up here right so this is another way guys we can definitely have banners or you know any sort of other content which is of dell on all the websites which we have mentioned we can surely present our banners to the students on facebook on other college websites or other social media websites or uh, whatever examples which you have given and they all were right guys whether it's uh, you know the technology websites or all even with respect to uh, search engine also we can do a lot of promotion over here just to let you know i hope most of you uh, already know about it but i want to iterate this fact again that these are paid ads guys where we pay to google to get our listing on the top right if dell wants to be on the top for this particular query i would definitely want my website to be on the top right because uh, i want to get in touch with that particular student who is writing this keyword maybe a father of a student or a mother of a student might write this kind of a keyword or a student himself or herself would write such kind of a keyword now if, if i am being hired by dell as a marketing manager or a marketing executive or someone who's part of the marketing team i have to think about these kind of keywords guys what sort of keywords will my audience type in so we'll study all that we'll study how do we do a keyword analysis uh what all keywords would my audience type in which all websites would my uh, audience go and how can i get my advertisements right across over there so another example which you guys gave me was facebook let's say if i've got my facebook open and i am not a what do you say uh, i'm i don't fall into that uh, student uh, segment altogether but if you see my very first advertisement this is so much targeted guys these people facebook know that i am into digital marketing world that's why uh, they are giving me an advertisement they are showcasing me an advertisement of one of the softwares which is into the digital world you can see seo social brand and content marketing data at your fingertips start a free trial today um, this is by a, you know this advertisement is by uh, one of the vendors or one of the bigger organization called moz this uh, particular organization moz uh are the leaders in search engine optimization so they're targeting me so all these things comes under display advertisement and social media marketing guys we'll cover all that part also they use trackers absolutely right another thing when i when you say about trackers i want to ask each one of you one question guys whenever you go onto a website let's say if i go onto a website like moz or maybe let me take another example if i go onto amazon all right and i use uh, i i want to buy uh, what should i say let's say okay if you see this fitbit band okay i go ahead and click on this fitbit band this is a band which helps you to track helps you to track your overall uh, you know workout activity how much calories have you burnt and all that across all right 
so if i have gone to this page guys that example which i am trying to tell you let's say if i now try to open one of the uh, product i am seeing the stuff about this product i am looking at the overall product description somehow you know there is a uh, a doorbell which gets ring or my phone gets uh, you know my phone rings or maybe i say that okay my it's it's a very costly stuff i might have to consult my parents whether i should buy this or not whether i you know or i decide that maybe i'm going to uh, you know buy this at a later stage the next thing which i do as an online shopper i go ahead and close this okay once i have closed this you might see wherever we go and open our stuff on the internet whether it's facebook whether it's uh, any other website let's say i go on to news website even if i go to a news website this particular fit band which i had opened will actually follow me all the way have you ever experienced this guys if you uh, see a particular product that follows you yes says shashank yes says kaushal yeah that's remarketing that's right for fazil and yes says guru prasad right this is called remarketing guys this is again this is something which we'll also be studying within our entire module right so this is uh, uh, why i'm talking about all this because it's very important to know from the digital marketing perspective how you as a smart marketer would be uh, building all these stuff i would be taking all the practical stuff guys when you uh, you know i would be giving you your free websites and i would always appreciate you to you know start uh, building your own uh, what do you say advertisements uh, using the website which i am going to give you so they are tra tracking our ip address and number of hits absolutely right they are tracking our uh, ip address uh, not really i would say they, they are actually installing cookies there in uh, kaushal so this is uh, when you have the remarketing stuff uh, they always have certain uh, files which is present on their website and when we open uh, these websites those files or those cookies in other words they get installed in our browsers absolutely the the you know these cookies actually gets installed in our browsers and when we open any other website these cookies play their part and show us those same ads which we have come across before so like i was saying you uh, whether these are search ads guys when i was telling you about these search ads these paid search ads or uh, we will also study how to get a website on the top for the search engine these are the search this this website which is on the top is with the help of seo search engine optimization or an organic listing i would always want you guys to you know get your website on the top for at least five keywords create your campaigns uh, for at least five keywords whether for search ads or also to get your website on the top through search engine optimization at least for five keywords so we'll be doing practical stuff guys all right so that's about digital marketing i'll now uh, play some uh, you know talk about some more uh, theoretical stuff before i go ahead with the practical so why people are going online we have covered that for fun entertainment choosing all that stuff uh, for business contacts for, for finding new employees for finding jobs and finding employees we've already covered that part so let me jump on to the next slide guys uh, the all right so online cheez sasti milti hai that's what faisal says all right thanks for uh, sharing that absolutely so uh, if you have really uh experience that that's that's great right all right so uh, over traditional marketing what digital marketing uh, has the advantages we have already spoken about that you know the cost of sale the builds you know building of the brand it's measurable cost effective i've already shared that across i don't want to spend more time on that and what are the major ingredients of digital marketing i've also spoken about that uh, the search and optimization pay per click uh, social media email marketing i've already done that and i've also spoken about what are the objectives of a marketer when we talking about digital marketing so reaching out to the right audience i made you understand that with the help of example of the dell thing so who was my uh, audience it was the students uh my another uh, objective as a marketer was to actually engage with my audience so when i say engagement 
uh, how would how is Dell doing the engagement part, guys? Just have a look. When the student, when a student actually types on the Google search box, uh, by best laptop for a student, and he or she opens the very first uh, search result, which is by Dell, then this website will do the engagement part. We as digital marketers have to strategize this within my campaign. What sort of steps my website will give to the person who will come onto my website? Right, guys. Over here, you can see. Now, again, you know, some all of a sudden this pop-up came in. It says, "Would you help us to make your website?" Okay, this is uh, just a, uh, a sort of a favor they're asking for. If I say no thanks. This was one engagement, and after that, another engagement which they're trying to uh, do is by giving me separate uh, products with separate, uh, you know, motivation. So these are the best sellers. They tell me, and they also tell me about the student offer. And once I let's say click on one of the products, the interaction happens automatically. When we say interaction, I mean I'm not talking to the website totally, but the website will keep giving me some or the other button to go ahead and interact. So I had the, uh, you know, the products. So that was one interaction where I clicked on one of the products, guys. Now this is second interaction where I go ahead and I have the option. So we always have to provide an interactive, uh, you know, some option to the end customer. So buy online is another button. I have. Another way of interactivity, if you can see, you have uh, buttons like features and designs, accessories and services, ratings and reviews. There is no, I mean, there is no dialogue exchange which is happening between me and them. Definitely, there can be a customer support where they might be having, which is an online customer support. But if that's not uh, there, still the website uh, should have all the possible information which my audience would like to. Uh, you know, gather across. So that's what I mean by interactivity or the engagement. Whenever we are running a campaign, guys, we should first of all try to understand what sort of things would my audience be like to know about. So all that stuff should be present. So that's about engaging the interactivity stuff. Then the third step, uh, the in terms of the objective, not just reaching out to the audience, engaging the audience. More, the third is also to motivate the audience. What sort of motivations you think we can give to the student who's uh, looking out for the, that product? What sort of motivations can we absolutely write the offers, says Guru Prasad, Shashank says offers, and these can be discounts, these can be some extra stuff, discounts, offers, write Guru Prasad, write Faisal, write Kaushal, the EMI option, write Guru Prasad, absolutely right. Uh, I hope each and everybody is uh, participating. That's great stuff. Okay, and the next one, uh, the next uh, another motive, sorry, another objective besides the motivation is also that we as marketers want our efficient efficient spending on a campaign, right? The gifts, absolutely right, Faisal. When I say efficient spending, I have to always get. Uh, when I say I, I am the marketer, I am the marketing manager or the marketing executive, whosoever you tell me in the department. I have to take approval from my top management in terms of the marketing budget. I'll I'll definitely need people to help me with the marketing stuff, whether it's spending on the Google ads or whether it's hiring some SEO professionals or hiring the email marketing guys, hiring content writers. All these are kind of expenses for the organization. When I make a request to the organization that I need a one lakh budget per month or I need a one crore budget, whatever, I'm just giving an example. Once I do that, the top management will ask me what sort of results can they expect out of one lakh rupees. Then I have to tell them that my budget can give me these amount of clicks and these amount of clicks can really help me get these amount of leads. When I say leads, uh, with the clicks resulting into people share, uh, you know, saying that yes, we are interested. Let's say with one lakh rupees, I give them a uh, you know approximation of thousand clicks I'm going to get with thousand clicks maybe hundred people are going to contact me or two hundred people are going to contact me and out of two hundred just fifty people are going to buy with from me and these fifty sales every, every, on an average sale would be somewhere close to 
फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज सो फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज पर सेल इन टू ट्वेंटी सेल्स वुड एक्चुअली गो समेयर क्लोज टू एट लैख रुपीज विद वन लैख रुपीज स्पेंडिंग एट लैख रुपीज ऑफ रेवेन्यू विल गेट जनरेटेड एंड आउट ऑफ एट लैक्स If I talk about the profits, let's say even if it's twenty-five or thirty percent profit, somewhere close to two and a half lakhs or three lakh rupees is the profit. So all in all, two hundred two hundred fifty percent is the ROI. So return on investment, efficient spending is something which is needed. Uh, Kaushal says number of hits, as I told before, absolutely right, Kaushal. Right. So the hits, the clicks, and the sales is definitely which is needed. So a digital marketer. if a digital marketer know which is the right platform to uh, you know utilize for uh, you know marketing across a particular stuff where the uh, their audience would be and which particular channel will give them good hits relevant hits quality hits uh, quality traffic and would result into sales then that digital marketer would will do wonders for the organization and organization will will uh, do wonders for them in return all right so that's about the digital marketing goals guys uh, in the end you have to really look after generating leads cap uh, generating sales or leads capturing leads from customers who are searching for their answers or uh, the products or the brands they are searching for over the internet so that was about the objective guys for, from a digital marketing perspective i want you to keep all these in head in your head whatsoever digital marketing activity which we'll talk about in our entire course whether it's seo whether it's email whether it's social media marketing whether it's google search ads whether it's banner ads whether it's remarketing whatever we are going to learn in the in next 10 session guys all these objectives needs to be met otherwise there is no point in learning digital marketing and doing digital marketing for either for ourselves or for the organization which we are going to work with all right so koshal says sorry i told you i am in office i will have to move all right no problem koshal uh, i can share with you the recording link and then you can uh, also view that no problem koshal thanks a lot uh, i really appreciate for you uh, for taking out time all right thanks a lot so when we go ahead guys uh, what all other things form part of digital marketing all right koshal you can exchange numbers with others in case you want to uh, in private chat or whatever all right so uh, digital marketing uh, involves a lot of stuff uh, we have already spoken about it whether it's videos websites social media sites emails games i don't want to go uh, all right thanks so i don't want to go ahead and talk about all of them again and okay next thing thanks koshal for sharing it with everybody what is inbound and outbound in bringing traffic all right so this is inbound and outbound inbound means pull digital and outbound means push digital so let's talk about this now anybody who can help me knowing that so that's i have got a very great question i want to take that and i've just given the answer as well that inbound is all about pull marketing and outbound marketing is all about push marketing i would definitely answer that but i want you to give uh, give it a shot guys anybody who can help me in uh, in knowing santosh guru prasad shashank fazal no idea says guru prasad no problem i'll take that at least uh, reply guys santosh says no idea no problem i'll take that no idea says shashank all right uh, fazal any idea all right no problem so inbound marketing has a different name which is in uh, pull marketing all right no problem Nama, uh, fazal if you're leaving for namaz no problem you can i i'll share the recording link with you so feedback is pull marketing good great uh, uh guess nitin pull marketing uh feedback is majorly you know the uh is is uh, not a form of a marketing i would say but i i really appreciate that you tried let me give you an example uh now same example let's take that if i am a student all right if i am a student and i need the need a laptop for myself and i go ahead and type this keyword 
my or what i would say a query into the search box which is best laptop for a student when i press this dell's search engine uh, page search is a uh, page search ad comes over now what is dell doing for me dell is actually pulling me dell is doing inbound marketing why is that inbound marketing because okay this is uh, an example of a uh, pull marketing because dell is not approaching me dell is just getting in front of me they are pulling me and how would they push it how would they do a outbound marketing let's say if again i am a student and i get a call from dell that hello sir today uh, you know we, i am from dell and we have got to know that you are from such and such college uh, and uh, you know we are have a promotion going on would you like to buy this there and i don't have a need for it right i have never made a request for it or even if i have made i have not given them permission to go ahead and uh, call me up if they are doing it they are pushing it they are pushing it they are not uh, pulling me if they have got certain uh, you know within their search their ad you know the it's not actually contacting me that's the difference or examples of inbound marketing are major parts of uh, digital marketing guys just like whether it's social media whether it's uh, search ads the search ads which i have shown you whether these are banner ads or let's say whether these are video ads or uh, when all these things which come in front of the audience where we make our product in front of the audience we have pull them we attract them with our good banner but if i am sending something without taking permission from them you know i have taken their email data from somewhere i have taken their phone number from somewhere i am pushing them uh, i am giving them a call without taking their permission i am giving sending them an sms you know which is a sort of a spam all these spam things are uh, part of outbound marketing you know we receive a lot of calls from credit card department loan agency you know to buy, get a lot of the loan stuff and all that's all push marketing or an outbound marketing but if i need something and uh, that particular product comes in front of me then it's an inbound marketing which they are doing they are pulling me they inbound marketing or pull data okay i have a very great question sent by santosh is email marketing push marketing if i ha i go on to a website santosh let's say i go to the uh, dell website giving you from the same example i am a student i go to the uh, dell's website punch in my email address and i click on the check box which says i uh, have fully read all these terms and condition and i give permission to dell to send me newsletters promotional mailers blah 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 and then i go ahead and submit and whenever this absolutely i'd subscribe to it i have subscribed to their newsletter or their promotional offers when and when the dell sends me across emailers after capturing my data then that's not a push marketing all right that is a pull marketing only because the permission has been taken the only difference is that a permission based marketing or a non permission based marketing if uh, permission is not taken and dell but you know buys my data from somewhere or the other tries to spam me across by sending uh, an email or then that's push marketing they are pushing me to please come come to my place take my product i'll buy your product and and buy my product i am the best right but if i get an email saying that you have subscribed to on our website on such and such date and these are the certain offers which we are coming across i hope everybody is clear on the push and the pull uh difference guys or the inbound or the outbound in other words yes says guru prasad yes says kumar yes says santosh all right uh shashank i hope you are also clear on that part or right. yes says nitin all right yes shashank already said that all right thank you so much that was push and pull or the inbound outbound why digital marketing we have covered that part as well because yeah now okay there's some now we are on the second largest the population in, is increasing people are spending a lot of time on internet and they want to buy stuff uh, on a just you know in a one click away we all know that i don't want to spend more time on that so now what do we do we do uh, we utilize this stuff with uh, so many 
uh, agencies, so many brands uh, using these platforms and doing a lot of marketing. So uh, this, this, these are certain stats, guys, which have been taken by Group M study, which says that four out of 10 people uses social media, so searches a lot of stuff on social media. Five out of 10 people uh, searches uses social media and then go back to the search for more information. And seven out of 10 people uses a uh, search engine with social media as well, uh, social to make them more confident in the decision they made. So all in all, uh, you know, it's about the usage stuff, just uh, information. Let me move ahead. Okay, it says, how can you be successful when you are, uh, you know, getting into the digital marketing world? You just have to make your brand visible, more relevant, be more congruent. When I say congruent, it may, may means a similar stuff. Uh, you are, have to be crisp, clear, and relevant. So, you know, if you're talking to the point, it's making sense. And then also be searchable. When I say, when we say be searchable, if somebody's typing your, uh, about, you know, the product or services, which you are also offering, let's say if uh, somebody types, you know, uh, restaurants, in uh, New Delhi, let's say, or restaurants in West Delhi, and I am, uh, and I have a restaurant in West Delhi, then I should make my brand searchable for those right keywords, right? And if I say relevant, I need to make sure my brand is talking to those people who are my uh, potential audience. I have to talk about the same content. So we'll come across, you know, we'll we'll talk about all that stuff. How do we create the visibility with the help of the search ads so, or the non-search listings also? So that's uh, with the that was the introduction about digital marketing, guys. I hope uh, most of things were known to you already. But uh, if even a couple of things were new to you, uh, it would have uh, been a valuable thing. The next thing, guys, is the type of websites which I want to talk about before we get started with uh, Google search ads today you know, the Google paid search ads. What sort of website? So what exactly we mean by a website, guys? I know I have already shared that across with you. Uh, we have already spoken that uh, like the way we have an offline store, we also need an, uh, you know, something in the online world. What is about retention in uh, digital marketing? All right. Retention is a term which means that if I get an audience, if I get a particular uh, customer Nathan, then I have to retain it for a longer period of time and uh, to set to sell to get leads uh, okay you have answered about the website stuff so why do we want that absolutely right good Prasad and to answer your question uh, Nathan, retention is all about keeping your product sorry keeping all your customers intact with you and making them do repeat purchases you retain them for a longer period of time. You never want one, any of your customer to come to your uh, online store or offline store or whatever whatever business model you have and just come to your place once, buy your product and never come back. You need the retention uh, stuff and you do a lot of retention policies. You need to create retention policies by offering them again discounts or all these other offers with the help of emailers or other sort of communications telling that that you are a valued valued customers you are one of our valued customer we would like to give you such and such kind of stuff makes sense uh, Nathan? Uh, does that answer your question so santosh says it's a global pl platform uh, do we need all right so when i say about types of websites uh, we all know what websites are so websites are sort of a uh, in the internet world we have world wide web where Every day, there are n number of web pages getting created. A web page is like uh, a digital content which is placed on the internet. Uh, absolutely right, Guru Prasad. It's static and dynamic. Uh, different kind of content placed across on the internet forms a web page. Either if it's a multimedia content like images or videos or uh, different uh, written content like a written text, all these things add up together with, you know, uh, some menu on the top or footer 
I hope uh, you guys are aware of these terms, the footers or the all that stuff. They form a website. Now there are different websites. Uh, one which Guru Prasad have already answered that there are different kind of websites which we can say uh, like static or dynamic. Okay, let me talk about the static or dynamic website example. Can anybody so let me know more about static and dynamic websites? What is the what is the difference between static and a dynamic website? So Guru Prasad says static is like a government website, all right. Right. Any examples? Uh, Santosh, Nitin, Kumar Swami. Sashank says dynamic. Okay, Santosh says dynamic websites keep on changing. Absolutely right. That's the right uh, definition to it. Shashank says dynamic websites have regular updation. Absolutely right, Shashank. Shashank, Santosh, both of you have said that right, like blog. Anything which keeps changing, absolutely dynamic, changing the content. Something which is static, which remains there for long, which doesn't get changed is a static thing. Just to give you an example, absolutely, I, some of the government websites are static. Uh, or maybe if you have, I don't know which year you guys started using internet, but uh, might have been 98 or 2000 or 2002 or somewhere uh, like that. When we started using internet, in the initial years, uh, most of the websites were static guys. There were no changes on the websites being made for ages and ages. When I say ages and ages, I mean for months or for years. Giving you example of some of the dynamic websites, if you see the news websites, you know, these portals, even with the social media websites, they all are dynamic. They keep changing. Nitin says uh, in dynamic interactivity is also there. Absolutely. In dynamic, there's a lot of interactive interactive uh, witty, uh, feature also, which is being enabled. Just like you have news on the top and within underneath the news article, you can always put in your comments. You might have seen that. Even e-commerce portal, absolutely. Within the e-commerce portal, you, can, you do have the interactivity stuff and a lot of new products come in. A lot of old products are being deleted across. So I hope most of you are aware about these. And some other classification of websites. I, I don't think I need to spend a lot of time on this. So let me move ahead since all of you. Uh, technically, what's the difference? Uh, so technically, the the interactivity definitely is the difference, uh, Santosh. Uh, you know, most and uh, use certain sometimes, you know, set rules that whenever there is uh, something new uh, that you know a new content is being punched across uh, that website has a lot of features in it otherwise i would say a static website just like if it's a five page a website it stays there with those five pages with the same content but the, the platform can be same also with same technology a static and a, web, a dynamic website can also be made there is something in URLs. Yeah, in URLs, uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely right, Santosh. With static website in techno technical terms, uh, URLs can never be changed. But with the dynamic websites, if you have a URL right now of a particular web page, you can anytime change that, rename that uh, to whatever you want to name it. You can rename the, you can uh, rewrite the content also. But with static websites, if a content has been written, that either gets deleted or a new web page gets created. Earlier, even creating a new web page was a big task. But right now, we hardly have any uh, static websites. If we talk about any, uh, you know examples or any website, uh, even a small a little website is made dynamic these days. So with respect to URLs, it's the renaming stuff, you know, which where you cannot do with static, but with the dynamic you can always rename you can change the urls all right yeah making device website fill to all the device that's called the uh, uh, thanks for getting this point across guru prasad so guru prasad says making website fit to all the devices now fitting your website
to all the devices would mean a responsiveness of the website what exactly responsiveness means your website opening up properly on a mobile device on a tablet device on a laptop or a desktop that's called the responsiveness and your website also opening up perfectly on different browsers on different browser whether it's a uh, google chrome mozilla firefox or opera mini or uh, you know safari or what not so portable you know uh, this is the portability or the responsiveness these are the two names guys which you can actually say portability and device uh, responsiveness are two things which is very much needed these days in whatever sort of websites you uh, go for now like i said i'll be give you giving you your free website for you and they these websites are going to be responsive and portable both they would open properly for all the devices whether it's a a tablet or a pc or a ipad or a iphone or a blackberry or a android or a uh, what not whatever you name it and for all the browsers guys okay now there are two ways through which we can classify them uh, these websites one is on the functionality and another is on the purpose with respect to functionality we have already spoken about the static and the dynamic so static and the dynamic i've already taken that so content is dynamic information gets changed it takes longer time to develop our dynamic websites and a lot of coding re- need, needed some of the various languages which are been taken are php asp.net and script uh good prasad says i hope we need a developer to make responsive yes uh, i would be using certain themes guru prasad you know uh, and these themes are actually responsive by default so i know most of you are not developer except for shashank over here and all my audience who study digital marketing they are from the non technical background in case you want to learn digital marketing you really don't need to be from the technical background guys that's what i promote and whatever tools i'll tell you whatever techniques i'll tell you 80 to 85% of your uh, dependency on developer would not be there and in case your dependency is there on a developer let's say for the remaining 10 15% i'll teach you things in a certain fashion that wherever you go whether you work for a client you work as a freelancer or you work for any other organization uh, into the digital marketing department you will be in a position to give the developer the right guidelines the right direction on what all things needs to change how things needs to be formed up so that your marketing campaign can run perfectly and deliver you the desired res- results which you want hope it makes sense all right so the responsiveness also i have already spoken about all right thanks santosh thanks guru prasad responsiveness is uh, opening your website perfectly on the desktop laptops tablets and all that uh, that's from the functionality point again based on the purpose now this is something exciting guys we have personal websites so i'll give you personal websites for, uh, free with your uh, subscription to this course uh, and then we have certain informative websites when we say personal websites these websites can be like i have my personal website i'll showcase you you have your uh, own stuff being talked about in your website which says that who you are where do you come from what's your overall background like and uh, what is your experience all together maybe your personal profile you or you case in you want to talk about your skill sets your experience if you have certain achievements you want to talk about any tools you uh, or certain uh, portfolio you know any sort of portfolio where you want to list down some of your works so uh, and your contact details all right thanks thanks a lot uh, guru prasad so these are uh, some of the things uh, you know this is how a personal website look like looks like guys then you have informative websites any example of an informative website which you can tell me can i have all right sure i'll show that share that so informative website guys any example so let's say ndtv.com all these new sites they are also informative or maybe a technology blog or maybe i'll tell you a couple of websites from where you should always uh, let's say you know even the cnn website the ted uh, absolutely 
educational website absolutely i also wanted to tell you about couple of website which you sh as a digital marketer in case you are looking to build your web career into digital marketing you should always visit and read a lot of stuff from these websites maybe since it's beginning for you guys so uh, they would be like uh, a lot of things which might not get clear to you when you read things on these websites iscdc is an more or less an e-commerce website i would say guru prasad so it does provide you information also absolutely it it comes under i uh, informative and e-commerce both so search engine journal website guys search engine watch in case you guys are planning to build your uh, very if you're very serious about building your career into digital marketing uh, these are some of the websites which keeps uh, publishing a lot of new content into the industry so i spend at least half an hour daily on this if i don't get time then at least i try to catch up on the new stuff which they have mentioned so you can see today's is 13th of july and they have got certain new stuff which says google map users can now share maps from desktop to mobile according to a recent google plus post i know most of many things wouldn't won't be clear to you but somewhere or the other if you will start it will make sense to you i am not sharing a lot of other websites which are there on the internet because uh, it can make you go crazy it can if uh, also confuse you a lot but these are the only three websites which i always recommend to my uh, participants and students so informative websites you have already given examples some of the business websites like let's say the infosys website so i i suppose uh, uh, guru prasad works for infosys right so you have tcs or any any sort of business you know any organization let's say nestle let's say uh, lenovo.com let's say dell.com microsoft.com these people have their own website and these comes under business websites then we have e-commerce websites i don't need to focus on that i hope most of you know that any website which lets you buy stuff do a transaction so we had gone on to the dell website if there is a buying uh, mechanism i can enter my credit card or debit card details and i can buy stuff then an e-commerce transaction happens and these form under the part of e-commerce some of the renowned names being amazon ebay flipkart snapdeal and what not zabong.com and all these are e-commerce sites uh and then we have social networking sites like uh, absolutely right nathan then we have social networking sites most of you know that i don't want to spend more time on that let's get started guys with the very first stuff which is google adwords now google adwords is a part of search engine marketing guys when i say search engine first of all why do we use a search engine what exactly is a search engine anybody who can help me understand the meaning of a search engine it's very important for me to first of all uh, make uh, you know first of, you know it's very important for me to uh, understand whether each one of you are clear on what exactly a search engine is why do you guys use a search engine or what exactly a search engine is for you so google yahoo bing these are the name of uh, renowned search engines absolutely right uh, santosh and uh, nitin says to find out anything that's the reason why we use a search engine absolutely right and guru prasad answers platform to get in information to the various websites so that's the answer of what exactly a search engine is absolutely right to search something so you guys have answered me what exactly it is why do we use it and which all the renowned search engine so which all the renowned santosh answered google yahoo bing and why we use it nitin answered to find out something and guru prasad answered what exactly it is which is the platform it's a platform to get information absolutely so it acts as a mediator absolutely shashank says it's a tool which actually allows user to get the relevant website according to the query and this query i hope most of you need want most of you know about sorry most of you know whatever query i have let's say i want to buy an iphone 6 this is a query in my mind i write that query which i have in my mind within a uh, search engine and this query in internet marketing is called a keyword right and if a keyword is pressed across uh, a fave <laughs> right a favorite this is my favorite keyword i i i generally take this as an example thanks guru prasad so whatever query i have in my mind i always write that across on google search engine Be why do i do that because 
I trust Google and I trust uh, Google as a search engine. And we all know, we you all have already answered. A search engine is a sort of uh, in other language. In other example, if I tell you, let's say in uh, whatever college or school you have gone into, you might definitely would be having libraries out there. Within the library, you have a lot of books with a lot of information being there. When you enter into the library and you know that uh, you need information about the topic A, B, C, and you want to understand where can you find information about this topic A, B, C, now you have a huge library with a lot of database right across. How do you find? Where do you will we find this? Now you talk to some. You would have spoken to someone, and or maybe you have a internal uh, mechanism in your library where you can find the categories. you know which all categories of uh, books are there so you get to know that this particular topic is from the business category business books you go to the business section now you have uh, first of all narrowed down your search you have eradicated all the other books and then just got into the section of business books now within the business books you get to know that this particular topic might be known across to a particular author you look at the author's books and you get hold of the right book where the information is given so a search engine is just like a library where there's a lot of uh, database being stored across of so many websites whenever a new website gets created in the into the uh, world wide web gets stored into the data center of search engines and a search engines always list out the relevant results from their data center to the user of the search engine whenever that user types in a query or the keyword absolutely that is called crawling whenever so i'll tell you what exactly crawling means guys right you answered that it's asking the librarian you would ask a librarian or the names absolutely right santosh guru prasad so i hope most of you are clear on that and when this keyword is being typed across on the search engine the two ways through which an ad uh, a website comes on the top is with the help of an ad right so you have apple.com who has come on the top right away by creating an ad and this is what we'll start working on today guys and the second module is going to be about the organic listings which is through seo i hope most of you are clear on the categorization these three results which you can see on the top are with the help of a uh, one of the product which google has and that's called google adwords google has a lot of products google has a google search engine google has google maps google has got another product called uh, google play then google has another product called google translate google analytics absolutely right guys similarly google has another uh, one of the uh, favorite tool or one of the favorite product for uh, for an advertiser which is google adwords with the help of google adwords absolutely you have adsense too thanks shashank thanks fazil uh with the help of google adwords an an advertiser or a brand owner can get their website on the top of the search engine for us for a keyword which they want to why will amazon want to get their website on the top with the help of these ads you can see only three ads are there guys i'm not hearing your voice guru prasad says that uh guru prasad can you log out and log in again all right so in case you uh, okay okay good you can hear me so i'm saying when you can see only three ads on the top and there are no uh, furthermore advertisements only one yellow ad only one search ad uh, listing which has the ad symbol in yellow then you have the sec second search listing which has the ad symbol in yellow you have the third search listing on the top which has the ad uh, yellow button but why not in the bottom one because that's the way it is guys google doesn't display more than three search ad see search ads on the top so you have maximum three top search results three top search results being the maximum uh in a particular search engine result page 
So I want to I want you to understand what a search engine result page is, which is also called a SERP, guys. Uh, let me take another browser. Within my browser, whenever I do a search, the very first page, guys, which opens up is called a SERP. Can you see this is one of the search engine result page? Now I have set it up to 100 search results. This is one SERP, SERP1. Then you have SERP2, search engine result page. I hope most of you are clear on that. And within an SERP, I have also told you the top three search listings. These are search listings. Top three search listings uh, can be the ad ones. Sometimes not all the three are there. Sometimes just only one. A lot depend on how many people are trying to get their advertisements for a particular keyword. And on the right hand side, if you can see, you can see another search ads, you know, these text ads being there on the right hand sides. It's written only once uh, as the ad, but all of these are ads only. When I say ads, all these people, whether it's Flipkart or Ask Me Bazaar, they are paying to Google to get their advertisement on the top. When I talk about side ads, guys, maximum eight is uh, which is permissible which google allows on one search engine result page on one serp i hope you are clear on the serp what it stands for i hope you are clear on the maximum limit on the top maximum limit on the right hand side for the text ads all right thanks santosh can anybody can everybody let me know whether you are clear on these aspects yes says santosh yes says Guru, yes, says Shashank, yes, says Kumar. All right. So eight on the right hand side, three on the top is the maximum for one search in the result page. There can be less, but that's the maximum. And then you have the sh online shopping ads over here also. You can see it says sponsored ads. These are a bit expensive, guys. And maximum which you can see over here are also eight so, you know, shopping ads on the right hand side. So even that has a limit to it now how does this process happen how do you go ahead let's say if i am amazon okay i create an this search ad i'll tell you how do you create these search ads i create the search ads and i tell google that for whenever someone types in this keyword are the display ad so are these display ads? no these are not display ads these are shopping ads it's called these are shopping ads and display ads are different I'll come on to that. Thanks for asking Guru Prasad. So shopping ads and display ads are two different ones. The uh, shopping ads always appear on the search engines only, but display ads appear on third party websites. So the point which I was trying to make when Amazon, when Amazon has uh, created this ad, okay, Amazon has created this ad and that they have created with the help of Google AdWords guys. We will log into that. Uh, once that's been created, uh, Amazon gives a permission uh, or tells, instructs Google that please make my ad visible on the search result whenever there is this query being typed across by anyone and that too for a specific region also. It can be for a specific region. So when I say region, it can be let's say India on a national level. Whenever someone types a particular keyword uh, within India, all right the IP address gets detected by Google. In India, whenever someone types this keyword, Amazon's advertisement B should be there. Now, Amazon ad can be on the second position, can be on the first position, can be on the third or can be on the fourth. When I say fourth, can be this one. This is a fourth position, guys. So that was first, second, third, and then the fourth, Ask Me Bazaar is on the fourth position. Then it's fifth, sixth, seventh, or there can be some more. Now, what would be the idea, uh, what would be the objective of Amazon? Won't Amazon or if you have Flipkart, who is on the seventh position, won't they fight for the first position? You have Apple on the first position. Won't you uh, guys uh, want also, you have a video lag, all right. I'll, I'll be a bit slow on that. So you have Apple on the top, all right. Then you have Amazon on the second uh, position. And then you have my spart price on the third position. All right. And on the right hand side, you can see you have ask me bazaar. 
depends on quality score absolutely right bezel i'll talk uh, i'll take that on the right hand side you have fourth position being acquired by ask me bazaar right now then you have some other website on the fifth then you have sixth with some super smart deal and then you have for seventh you have flipkart now my question to each one of you let's say i am with flipkart and you guys are with amazon and me being with flipkart i am on the seventh position what do you think my idea would be uh would you would i want be to be on the top first position or is it only just apple which will want himself or herself to be on the top absolutely now since we want ourselves to be on the top the top position gets acquired by those people those websites who are able to maintain certain quality score and also a bid level i'll talk about what exactly a bid level is so bidding plays an important role and the quality score absolutely right nitin you recall that so let me first understand make you understand what is a bidding and what exactly is a quality score let's start with bidding guys so santosh guru prasad when we are working and shashank uh, when we are working on uh, the google adwords it's for each and every one we always tell google that i am ready to pay 50 rupees for every click someone makes on my ad now amazon will always get charged for their advertisement for placing their advertisement when or only or with they will get only charged amazon will only get charged whenever someone clicks on their advertisement till the time there are no clicks on the ads there would be no money deducted from their debit card or a credit card credit card or debit card gets attached to the google adwords account and there is a certain budget which amazon will let google know that i want to spend only 500 rupees a day and not beyond that all right bidding uh, right so 500 rupees let's say excuse me <laughs> right excuse me so let's say i tell i am amazon so you will teach that tech you will teach that technically so uh, yeah absolutely i'm i'm going to open the adwords account right now i'm not uh, just going to let you go away with the tech uh, theoretical parts santosh so coming on to i i'll just open the google adwords account also if you'll see my past videos you will see i teach with the help of uh, the campaigns all right so if amazon is has uh, given instruction to google that i have got just a budget of 500 rupees and i am ready to pay 50 rupees per click so i have sort of uh, amazon has set a bid 50 rupees all right similarly even flipkart which is on the seventh position will also make a bid you guys uh, uh, i mean we guys uh, let's say if our we all of us are competitors yes one of you become apple uh, one of you become a flip uh, an, an individual from flipkart another person becomes an individual from slap deal another individual becomes a uh, you know from any other organization so we all would not be knowing who is bidding how much all right but with our bids with person with the higher bids will always given preference and will always be on the top but not just the bidding there is a always there is another thing guys which is called a quality score quality score for every keywords gets counted and i'll show you in google adwords account how it gets displayed i'll first of all show you a google adwords account which is already made up for one of my client and over there you can see the advertisements which are made and along with advertisements you can see quality score for every ad for every keyword sorry for every keyword the quality score is made let me just open that a quality score is always given out of 10 guys and quality score is measured on with three different stuff three different parameters you can write that down in case you want that i'll give you the notes as well for that let me tell you 
the very first thing on the very first parameter on which quality score is measured one is the ad uh, copy quality all right this is the ad copy when i say ad copy you can see this is let's say if i take the amazon ad this is a headline guys then you have a url being here i hope most of you know what exactly a url is which starts with www absolutely the landing page all right uh, and then you have a description line so you have a headline then you have a description line then you have a description line too also i'll come on to this these are called extension guys we will create these also so where first parameter for a quality score google tries to give you certain marks for the ad copy quality your ad copy quality matters a lot on the kind of english writing you have done and the kind of words you have used uh, are they really talking the same language which your end url your end web page or the landing page this is also called a landing page guys whenever someone clicks on this ad uh, the web page which opens up or the web page which where the end customer lands is called a landing page so is the ad copy in aligned is aligned with the landing page that is one parameter so ad copy quality number 2 is the landing page quality guys the text or the content which is written on your landing page is it aligned with first of all the keyword and after the keyword is it the ad copy so the keyword the ad copy and the landing page are these three are these three things the keyword the ad copy and the landing page are these in a line so the landing page quality is definitely taken into consideration is you know are things really uh, kept in proper fashion so we'll talk about how what all things uh, should one do when it comes down to creating a landing page all right that is number 2 and the third thing guys is called ctr anybody over here who understands this word ctr i hope nitin would be knowing about it so what is so third thing which uh, you know where the quality score matters is called absolutely right santosh it's called click through rate absolutely right fazil right so most of you know that so that's great shashank are you uh, aware about the click through rate all right you are great click through rate guys is calculated with the formula called number of clicks upon number of impressions into 100 absolutely right that's right guru prasad i'll just showcase you uh, the click through rate for a live campaign first of all before i begin and try to create a new account and from the new account if i go ahead and start creating an ad copy a campaign or everything i first want to showcase an existing campaign or existing uh, account of my client okay let me take another all right let me take this example so i know many things would be uh, sort of uh, sounding french to you you might be uh, looking into this for the first time for some of you it's not for some of you it might be right so let me just first of all go to the keyword section and show you or let let me go to the ad section <laughs> so i'll i'll go definitely step by step but i want to showcase you the click through rate stuff and all that on a campaign level if i go and i will show you the click through rate for the campaign level can you say uh, number of clicks number of impressions number of you know the overall ctr the price part and all that that's being mentioned over here the cost you know a lot of data is covered over here so just focus on the the clicks part guys i am just highlighting that the impressions the ctr i hope most of you are aware of what exactly an impression is if in case you are not let me know once your ad yes says fazel all right 
Santosh, I hope you're also aware of that. Shashank, an impression. All right. Let me just reiterate that again still. A, uh, an impression is something once your ad appears is an impression. I have entered a keyword as a user on search engine. The ad appears for all these three people. One impression has get, got counted. If I do a refresh again, a second impression gets counted. More impressions are getting recorded for them in their separate individual Google AdWords account. But if I click only on the Amazon one, so for Amazon, there would be two impressions in one clicks. And for the other ones, it would be zero clicks and two impressions. Again, zero clicks and two impressions for my smart price and for Apple, the first and the third one. So Faisal says, Aapka ad SERP mein kitti bar hai? I'm not really getting a question. Which ad? When you say Mira ad, which which ad are you talking about? For which where website are you talking about? And which uh, position? So when I type buy Samsung phone, Guru says, how many times is ad appearing? Yeah, absolutely. That's what impression is, right? Okay, Faisal, you are also trying to uh, tell me about the impression part, right? I think that was not a question, but the, that was a statement which you made, right? All right, so that's how uh, a CTR thing which you can see. I can also show you the advertisements which I have got created. When I type uh, buy Samsung phone, then ad appears on SERP. Which which ad uh, or for which website? is? Are you asking a question or are you making a statement? If you're asking a question, let me know, please. Can you see the advertisements, which the kind of advertisements which we see on the on the search engines, they are like these only. You have a headline and then you have a description line one, description line two, then you have a you know URL, all that stuff. That's how it appears, right? So that's how an advertisement looks like. Now let's get started with the new ad, guys. What is mobile? Okay. Mobile is like if this ad is made to actually appear on the mobile device. So we can even select that. Let's get started with creating an advertisement, guys. And uh, I would want for each one of you to create advertisements for yourself. Uh, I would be giving you your separate websites. For your website, you can create, uh, you know, advertisements for keywords like, let's say, internet marketing professional. Maybe with your uh, particular location, and you want to ta target. Let's say, if in case you are. Uh, in Ludhiana or you are in Hyderabad or you are in Bangalore, you are in New Delhi or you are in uh, Belgaum. So maybe digital marketing professional in uh, Bangalore, internet marketing professional in uh, Belgaum, such kind of keywords for such kind of keywords you can create. Let me go ahead and create a new account. Start helping you with creation. Right. I hope I answered your question. What is mobile? So when you can also select for which particular device do you want to uh, go ahead and create your uh, show your ad across. So I can only make my ad appear only on mobile device. I can also make my ad appear for a specific audience. Uh, is does anybody have a new Gmail account with which you want to share across? I can go ahead and I think uh, you did that, uh, Guru Prasad, right? You created a new Google account, right? In case I give you the presenter rights, would you? All right. So what I am doing right now, I am taking one of the uh, volunteer right now. I am giving the presenter rights to Guru Prasad, and he'll. Uh, I will keep on instructing, giving the directions, and we'll do a live demo with a practical right so i'm giving you the uh, presenter rights right now guru prasad your screen would be visible to each and every one and we'll take it from there my voice would be there along with guru prasad's uh, machine team all right you want to give me the gmail id i don't want to do it because the ip address can get changed that's why i want you to actually go ahead and do that would that be fine 
if I make you the presenter or you want me to only do that? Okay, let uh, so a yes is for you want me to do it or I give you the presenter rights. All right, so Guru Prasad, I made you the presenter. All right, yeah, so you can accept it and then let's take it from there. And I would uh, encourage each one of you, Shashank, Santosh, uh, Faisal also, to go ahead and create your ads and then showcase that across to me. Let's do a live demo now. Okay, so we can see uh, the window of you're not able to hear my voice i think uh, you can because okay now you can because i was not saying something at that point of time all right so you can go and uh, please enter adwords.google.com guys you can do that along with uh, guru prasad as well in case you can just type All right, so yes, you can do that by just typing AdWords. The very first search result, which you see, you can go ahead and create, uh, I mean, enter into that. I hope, yes, your screen is uh, getting shared and we can see your screen, Guru Prasad. Just go ahead and sign in, guys, with your uh, new Gmail account. I would encourage you guys to use a new Gmail account because I would be using certain, uh, what do you say? I would be giving you uh, coupons to actually run ads. So I will try my level best to give you a coupon. I hope Guru Prasad, this is a fairly new advert, a fairly new uh, Gmail account. Yeah. So okay. Yes, Santosh, do that. So I think uh, Guru Prasad, that's your earlier uh, old Gmail account. Did I? All right, you're on the speaking mode, Guru Prasad. Yes, you can go ahead and talk. So can you log in to your uh, new Gmail account? All right, so Shashank, Faisal, if in case you guys also want to do it, you can create a new Gmail account and then uh, create an AdWord account and I can help you with uh, a coupon also. So you want to see the demo and then do it. All right, sure. Please see the demo and then do it. No problem. So we are doing it right now. I'll keep on guiding and how it's getting done. All right. So this is the first screen, guys, which you will see. It will ask you to create your first campaign. Go ahead and click on the create your first campaign on the left hand side, please. All right, so. OK, I'm taking the control of the overall uh, system now, so let's uh, 
create one of the very first campaign which is i mention it as okay guru kek i think you gave me the control but later on you didn't so just go ahead and type a campaign name let's say uh group uh, seo services or just digital marketing services let's say if you are promoting yourself as a digital marketer so maybe you can write uh, yeah guru seo services is what you can okay first of all you would have to take can i take uh, control control of your keyboard and mouse that's what i did earlier on i want to do it uh, i would do it quickly all right so i did send you across the i'm not getting the option right now earlier i was getting an option to take request from you I'm sorry for that trouble but uh, I I can't really see that thing across Okay you can just uh, continue doing that no problem I don't see that Okay now I have the control So PPC means uh, pay per click guys all right so if i say guru ppc services that's the name of my that's the name of my one of my campaign which i want to create i want to go ahead and promote that across on the right hand side i would take all features because i want to show you each and every feature of the campaigns i go ahead and do all features and in the type part we are learning the search network only so we'll go ahead and click on search only right we are not doing display display would be the second part guys uh i am going to change the campaign name it got changed because the type part that's what you do next when we'll scroll further down we are going ahead with all features by default the network part the network part you have to always include the search partners now what exactly search partners are guys search partners are like gmail or okay why search network only santosh because uh, as of now we we would be doing no it's there's nothing to do with bing uh, bing and yahoo doesn't come with uh, google the search partners are like uh, google maps or gmail and all uh, no 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 these are uh, these are their competitors they don't have uh, a partnership now they had partnership that was way in the past fazil so why we are doing uh, santosh to answer your question why we are doing only search only because we are trying to learn the text ads which are there on the search uh, engines all right the display ads would come uh, at a later stage uh, when we say display advertisements they are like banner ads which are there on the third party website so let's say uh, we that would be step 2 in a next session we will do the display part also as of now i want to showcase you the search network only this would be display would be the, in the next one all right something like you know let's say if guru prasad's websites uh, has to be promoted on nokri.com okay or let's say on ndtv.com we can place a uh, what do you say a banner on nokri.com with the help of the display part but as of now these are text ads which would have be aligned with the keywords only and whenever a keyword gets placed on the search engine then the advertisement will get will get appeared makes sense santosh so search ads are only those text ads which are there on the google search engine only any ads which are there on the search engines are part of are the search ads any banner ads which are also called display ads 
आर नॉट ऑन दी सर्च इंजन बट ऑन दी थर्ड पार्टी साइट्स लाइक एन डी टी वी आस्क मी और मे बी यू नो एन डी टी वी डॉट कॉम और नौकरी डॉट कॉम और वटेवर विच एवर वेबसाइट वी टॉक अबाउट वील टॉक अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो इन आर सेकेंड सेशन डज दैट आंसर योर क्वेश्चन संतोष ऑल राइट we have to by default we can take the search partners in case you don't want to do that you can remove that also but i generally go for that uh in case you don't want to do it you can exclude that it's all up to you your if you include that in your advertisement can also appear on google uh, sorry google maps gmail all right i'll go slow all right if you include search network then your ads will also appear on gmail on google maps and such kind of sites which have partnership with google search engine also so some other uh, websites which google has now with ad okay yes please right all right so should i go further down so we'll be taking all these uh, all these things later on as of now i want to why i have selected all features because i want to show you all the features and not the standard features once we go further down with networks you can see uh we have excluded that with respect to devices you guys asked me for the mobile version as of now by default when we are making an ad this option is not visible i mean it's not uh, i'm not able to edit it but once i'm able to make the campaign then i can edit that later on all right so as at present it will be shown my ad will be shown on all the eligible devices whether it's tablet whether it's uh, uh, whatever what you say tablet desktop or something all right then the next thing is guys locations let's say i want my add to appear for just bangalore location i can go ahead and write that and you can see bangalore being there i can go ahead and add that stuff then there is another option which is called a radius targeting i can even include entire india and i can even include a particular city or i can go ahead and click on nearby and do a radius targeting guys now if you see the radius targeting option within the radius targeting you can see within uh, so i can select whether it's a mile or a kilometer let's say if i do a kilometer this is the major uh, what do you say central point of bangalore i say i want to cover 40 kilometers from the center point and i go ahead and do the search part or it has shown something else oh, oh just a sec we had to mention so 40 kilometers for, sorry 40 had to be written over here and bangalore had to be written over here so what it has done 40 kilometers of the entire radius from the central location it has selected all right i can go ahead and do that but i don't want to do it i was just trying to show you other thing which i i want to show you let's say if you have a local business let's say i uh, guru prasad has his own uh, you know digital marketing services which he is trying to sell and he wants to focus only on specific location all right within bangalore as well so do you guys know of uh, the zip codes within bangalore you can write that can you help so okay i can click on this button if you can see it shows it says shows available locations for inclusion or exclusion 
within the map area i can go ahead and click that and can you see this particular specific feature lets you focus on not just the entire city but within the entire city you can just mention which particular uh what do you say uh, colony you want to target across make sense try that across i can go ahead and include the uh, colony which has the zip code 560068 and i can go ahead and add that across i can remove the entire what do you say location which is bangalore and just have i can zoom in and you can you see uh, whether it's indra nagar i want to target or whether it's jc nagar i want to target i can go ahead and do that make sense guys guys give me just a couple of minute i have to uh, i have to just use the washroom for 2 minutes i'll be back so uh, go ahead uh, guru prasad with this i'll be back in just 2 minutes so go further down and uh, play around i'll be back in 2 minutes all right guys i'm back sorry for that so once you're done with the locations then we'll scroll further down similarly guys you can go ahead and select whether you want to go ahead with the entire city or just with the nearby location right makes sense you can either remove this the bangalore part and i would suggest you to focus on specific uh colonies within that then you go further down it ask you for the languages so english uh is something which is the most common one but if in case you are trying to target uh you know people who use other search engines other google search engines in different language whether it's uh, you know in chinese or hindi or urdu or swedish or thai you can even go ahead and do that as well but we'll be taking example of english only just to make things very simple for us now the next thing which you can see it's asking for you a, a bid strategy in the beginning we will do only i will manually set my bids i will tell you about the uh, what exactly uh, what all changes can we do do with bid strategy there are different bid strategies guys we'll talk about that in detail but as of now we want to set bids ourselves and we don't want to give control to adwords the very first option says i want to bid do want to set manually you know the bids for myself 
The second option says AdWords will set my bids. I don't want to give this to AdWords because if you are learning, why do we want to give uh, permission? Uh, I mean, the authority to AdWords to keep changing my bids. Default bid, let's say, I mean, there is no rule as such on what bid uh, we should actually keep it. Initially, when we are doing for the first time, we can do it at a random bid, whether it's 20 rupees, and I'm going to go ahead with a budget of, let's say, 500 per day, or maybe just, let's say, 1000 per day is the kind of a budget. I'll just change the bid to 55. I, I can change these things at any given point of time. All right. Then we have a delivery method. I want to make you understand one thing about delivery method. I, are we clear on? Uh, so. OK, Santosh, you're clear on that. So the bidding part. Fezel, say that again. Uh, are you asking a question or saying a statement? I'm not clear on that. If you're asking a question, can you uh, let me know your question? Uh, Guru Prasad and uh, Santosh, I hope you are clear on that. So the delivery method, there is a mistake in setting the bid. Five fifty, okay. I can. Yeah, all right. Thanks so much. Yeah, fifty-five. It should be fifty. Right. I. That was a very high bid. Okay. Thanks. All right. So I have set it manually. Default bid is fifty-five rupees per click, which is I have set across, and my budget I have set it to one thousand rupees. Now, next thing, guys, which it says is delivery method. I want to make you understand what exactly we mean by that. Let's say if my budget is thousand rupees and my uh, per click cost, which I have set, is fifty rupees. So, for every day, what is the maximum number of clicks as per you, which I would I can receive? For thousand rupees, fifty rupees is the per click. Maximum twenty clicks I can get in a day with thousand rupees budget a day and fifty rupees I am willing to pay for per click. So what number of clicks in total I can get in maximum? Thousand divided by fifty is twenty, right? Pesil says twenty. Is that understood uh, to Guru Prasad and Santosh? So with my total budget, which I am willing to pay, which is 1000 rupees, and I am willing to pay 50 rupees per click. So with 1000 rupees, I can buy how many clicks? Just 20 clicks, right? If I'm paying 50 rupees a click, 50 rupees for one click and 20 clicks in total will end my budget of 1000 rupees. Now, why I was asking this is because Guru Prasad and Santosh, you guys are clear on that, right? The delivery method says, if you want, all right, thanks, Santosh. Guru uh, is not typing because, okay, the screen is shared. All right. Uh, the delivery method, standard and accelerated means uh, whether you want your 1,000 rupees to be divided in the entire day. Let's say your keyword, which you have set, is uh, are very competitive and they are being typed across by various people okay within the geographic location which we have which you have said let's say in the bangalore region your keywords are typed by 5000 people in a day and your ad starts running from 12 midnight to uh, you know uh, from 12 midnight till 11:59 pm for 24 hours your ad runs okay now once your uh, daily budget starts at 12 midnight you when the day starts your ad starts and after one hour or you know since the uh, competition is very high many people are typing in this keyword you get 20 clicks within an one hour all right since your uh, you know your keywords are very much uh, searchable in the geographic location then you would be like oh my goodness 20 clicks got consumed uh, and i had a lower budget which is 1000 rupees how do I make sure, how do I get to know whether my, uh, you know, audience which have clicked on that were serious audience or not? I want my advertisement, you say that, you know, with my 1000 rupees, 
I want to make my advertisement run throughout the day. And uh, when I say throughout the day, it should be balanced across, you know, on different time zone, on different time of the of my day. You know, cert for certain hours it should run for the morning hours. For certain period of time it should run for the afternoon hours, and then for the evening. And so you have one thousand rupees. If even if it's a lesser budget for the keywords you have chosen, uh, and when you select standard, still your one thousand rupees will be divided. or even be divided throughout the day but if you do select on accelerated the moment your ad will run it will be shown across till the time your budget gets exhausted with standard what will happen your ad will start for after 2 3 clicks your ad will automatically automatically will not be shown and stopped for certain hours for certain period of time then maybe after couple of hours it will start running again by google google will start run it again in the afternoon hours after 5 6 clicks it will still stop and then it will start uh, after again couple of hours maybe in the evening it will show your 1000 rupees will be splitted across throughout the day will be evenly optimized with accelerated there is no evenly optimization santosh says how would you know the target customer has clicked yes we will get to know that within the reportings uh, whether your target customer okay so is your uh, how many people have clicked we'll get to know that santosh whether it's 50 people who have clicked or 5 people who have got clicked with every click there would be a reporting but whether it's a genuine customer who has clicked uh, a targeted customer who has clicked or a non genuine customer who has try to play around and just kept on clicking that can also be known uh, with the help of the leads you will get if people are clicking on your ads and uh, they are not your target customer then maybe you are not getting right kind of leads or purchases so that can be known but with respect to the number of clicks in all whether whosoever clicks it you can get to know that but with respect to whether the right person has all those people who are clicking on it are right on right uh, customers or right target audience or not that will get clear with the help of certain analysis we will do with the kind of uh, leads which we are going to receive Make sense, Santosh? Does that answer your question, or I can still go ahead and uh, answer that? All right, thanks. Uh, if it does, good. In case not, then I, you can surely ask me uh, again. I really encourage that. Ad extension is a uh, a bigger topic, guys. I will take that in next session, and uh, I will talk about all these extensions. uh what exactly are these so the ad extensions are majorly more things which gets clubbed into your ad all right today my major focus for today's session was to cover up the digital marketing and the types of websites but since your most of your uh, knowledge level was good in that part that's why i started with the google ads also i wanted to do that so i hope the settings part majorly have that the location part location targeting is clear to you the language was simple and uh, the bidding part i have set it manually and with respect to budget you are clear on that part and if i go further up the language location with respect to location also you can go ahead and select uh, the particular colonies uh, you know you can select the colonies as well that was clear and and also the i hope the difference between search and display is clear so i'll take all the other things also in detail let me go further down as of now you can let the ad extensions part be blank when you click on schedule start date end date you can set the start date and end date for your uh advertisement so let's say you don't want your advertisement to run for saturdays and sundays you know that your audience is not going to be so active on saturdays and sundays and you can expect some stupid kind of people clicking on your ads that's why you run it for monday to friday and you also uh, have a sense that your audience will generally look for your kind of services whenever they are in their office hours whenever they are in office probably then they would uh look for your 
what do you say uh, kind of services they will search for your kind of services so you can set a uh, you know a timings you can select the start date and end date in that regards so if you click on the end date let's say you want to start it from 13th july and you want to run it till 31st july that is with the respect of that date guys but within that you don't want to include the weekends so that's why you can create an ad schedule do it monday to fridays only and you want to run it from 10 am in the morning let's say till 6 pm all right you can even do something of that sort let let's say 10 am to 1 pm and again monday to friday you can select whether you want to run it from now 2 pm so from 1 pm to 2 pm you don't want your ads you think that within the lunch hours they might not be looking for your advertisements so i mean it's all up to you how do you want to take it let's say from 10 am to 1 pm you have run it and that's the ad scheduling then you have ad delivery and ad rotations part where you would whenever you are creating your advertisement for the first time which we are doing right now you always go ahead and optimize for clicks guys all right you optimize your ads for clicks once your ads let's say run for 10 15 days i will tell you how to set up conversions you know what are conversions whenever there is a sale or a lead being captured or let's say if somebody is uh, has whatever your objective of the campaign there are different objectives of your campaign either you are looking for the end sales with the help of uh, you know you have an e-commerce site you have got the products listed up and you are running ads to sell across your across your products or if you don't have an e-commerce site your uh, another kind your conversion can be let's say just people filling up your form and trying to give in their uh, personal details so that you can call them up so your campaign conversion can be measured with the help of the form fill ups with uh, with a scenario to a ca campaign conversion can be measured with the help of the purchases which will happen on your e-commerce store you can also have another kind of conversion in a scenario 3 where you call a conversion when someone signs up on your website or a, uh, or a third uh, or a fourth kind of scenario can also happen when someone you count a conversion when someone uh comes on your website and downloads a particular ebook or downloads a software so different businesses will have different kind of websites and these different websites will have different kind of conversions i'll showcase how do you create uh, conversions i'll we as we'll move forward with our up, uh, you know future sessions guys so to begin with once you're done with ad scheduling go with ad delivery and ad rotation and click for just optimize for clicks forget about the optimize for conversions i don't recommend these ones rotate evenly and rotate indefinitely uh, the the most uh, perfect one is optimize for conversion you always give uh, idea to adwords to, uh, you know the this overall mechanism tell you tell them that you want your advertisement to be shown across to those people only who would uh, whose chances of getting converted are maximum then you can go ahead and uh, just uh, ignore these things guys dynamic and campaign url options as of now these are for way too big uh, uh, what do you say websites and they they need uh, you know according stuff to be done when it comes down to creating advertisements from the scratch from the beginner level and uh, and to understand everything uh, these are the overall settings the next thing to do is save and continue so as of now campaign url options these are advanced settings which you do for uh, various big websites all right so once you have created a campaign that was a campaign guys the next thing is an ad group so you have a campaign which is a bigger thing and then you have ad groups underneath that you can go ahead and create your first ad group and start writing headline description line description line 1 and 2 i'll take these in detail in the next session uh it's 10:40 i don't want to keep you waiting uh, it's already 10 minutes up so let's go ahead and i would like to encourage each one of you so uh, santosh shashank fazal 
Guru Prasad to go ahead and create a new Gmail account first and uh, play around with these things, uh, which I've already mentioned with respect to the settings and all. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a website. So why not an old account? An old account will not accept a coupon. I will try to enter a coupon for your website. So you might get help in that case. Make sense? A new account will only accept a coupon. All right. So can I wrap up this uh, wrap up today's session, guys? I hope it was uh, it did make sense. Uh, let me just take back the presenter rights. All right. So guys, I just wanted to understand. I hope it was. Uh, how can I download the recordings? So I'll I'll give you this. I'll send across the down uh, recording link to you, Santosh, and to each and every one. And you can go ahead and uh, get that. So let me take their. I'm not able to get these controls back. Mm. So Guru Prasad, you can remove yourself from the uh, what do you say presenter which is perfectly fine. All right, no worries. So uh, I'll share the recordings with you guys, uh, right? Thanks, Faisal. Thank you, Guru Prasad. And thanks, uh, Santosh. Thanks a lot, Shashank. I hope it was a, uh, a valuable session for you. Let me know your feedback for today's session, please, uh, on the chat. Anything else you want me to take through WhatsApp or to or to go to meeting? Uh, I'll I'll send you the link on on your WhatsApp. Oh, it was awesome! Thanks a lot, Faisal. Uh, appreciate it. Shashank, did uh, did you uh, get some value out of today's session? Was it helpful? It was an interesting session. All right, thanks a lot. Can I can I create ad uh, to this account? Absolutely, Guru Prasad. Go ahead and create an ad, and I'll book a domain for you. You can use that domain. All right, great, Shashank. Absolutely, demo, add, absolutely, go ahead and do that. All right, Santosh, any feedback from your side? Uh, any things which you want me? All right, thank you so much. Guru Prasad, any feedback from your side, please, would encourage. Uh, how was the session today? Was it valuable? How can I optimize the content for SEO purpose online? All right, so that will be covered in the SEO module for sure, Faisal. Uh, and we'll, we'll take that in detail. All right, was... It was so Basil, your question would definitely get answered when we'll start with the SEO thing as well. All right, great thing, uh, great stuff, guys. Thank you so much for your time. It's 10:45. I've already uh, gone ahead with 15 more minutes. I don't want to keep you waiting. Uh, have a sound sleep, and uh, we'll I'll keep you updated. So probably we'll meet next Monday again, and uh, we'll take this forward. All right. See you then. Take care. Bye now. Good night.